I just saw a nice family out there, and I said, big family. I said, well, I hope you all had a good time, because I did not. <laughs> so somebody had to have a good time today. So you have those games, and we're fortunate to get a win based on our performance. But we just grow from it and learn from it and uh, see where we go uh, going forward. So uh, just do the best we can. Uh, and uh, you know, credit Rutgers for playing hard and, and uh, guarding us really well. And uh, we just got we have another uh, uh, another game uh, Sunday. We we got to continue to grow as a team. Go ahead, Mark. You always have to feel the pulse of your team. What was the point when you realized it wasn't going well? I mean, there's a couple shots or even before the game. No, there, there was a uh, uh, in the locker room ahead of time. I realized I was missing my my scouting report. This like disappeared. That's when I knew I always religiously go over it one more time. I couldn't find it. I, that was a bad moment to start because after 1,100 games, I have the same ritual, and I was looking it over and I couldn't find it. That was the first one. But no, we had the ball dropping around and we had shots going in, in and out, and uh, and then we had a couple of really just like crazy plays. But uh, like I said, this is uh, with the shot clock and uh, just the three-point shot. Thank goodness they did shoot. We could have been beaten easily today. Uh, the way we played both offensively, our defense was okay. But if they would have made some of those shots, uh, some of those threes, we could have been, they could have went down. Over here with Chris, is it, is it human nature to, when shots aren't falling, that it almost becomes contagious in that sense? Yeah, I, I think that we uh, we wear that on both sides, and and uh, you know we have you have to what you have to do when you get in those situations, you got to have uh, almost um, you have to manufacture energy. Because when you're missing shots, it, it can take a lot out of you, right? And it, so it takes out of your defense. You just can't put your head down and wallow in it. You've got to continue to throw energy to the team and everything. So we got to work at some of those areas when uh, we've had, we had a good run there of it, at, uh, where we, had some, we experienced some adversity and we still won. And this time, uh, hopefully we're going to grow from this. Would you almost call it playing not to lose? At some point. There, there, that could have been happening, yeah. That could have been happening. No, I mean, when you're trying to, you're playing an 0 7 team and you're playing at your place and you're coming off after this big win, you know, the trap game, the letdown game, all those things are part of it. Uh, but uh, we just, what we have to do is let it, when you, when you play like that and you have a tough game like that, you just got to make sure that it provides um, some great uh, message for you for your upcoming game. First of all, did you ever find your game plan? I have not found it. This is like a mystery, where it, what happened to it. It's a four or five page document. I got all kinds of notes on it. I just review it. I don't know where it is, so uh, it disappeared. Well, the check eBay or something. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess when, when those missed shots are piling up, when does the onus turn on? You just got to just go to the basket. Well, the and, and we were trying to do that. We were trying to get two feet in the lane. They, they were containing us so much. They got good quickness on the perimeter now. And they were trying to contain us and, and just keep everybody packed in and have people there. But I didn't like the way we attacked that either. We just would go, we were probing against our, in our drive instead of attacking in our drives. And that's what we'll learn from. You just, with 30 seconds on the shot clock, it's down to six. You gotta stop probing. You gotta go, draw a foul, do something. And several of our, a couple of our guys do that, did that. But there's other times we're like probing, and all of a sudden we get these shot clock violations. Of course we did because we were dri we were dribbling east west. Over here with Simon. Dawkins came in and kind of provided that spark. Does it feel like sometimes you need someone fresh off the bench? And he and Ricky both. Yeah, I mean that was a big part of that game. We've established that sixth guy that can give us something. He played a lot of minutes tonight too, and so we uh, it, it, it's really been good. And as he continues to grow in other areas of the game. Uh, he'll should be an important part of us in these uh, the final. Well, we've got ten games left. Sean, Zach had eight assists, uh, maybe a couple of hockey assists. And yep. Sort of had the defense kind of collapse and open things up for a lot of the game. Where is he in his evolution as a, a playmaker for you right now? I mean, he is. He, he's he, at times people have looked at a game and say he's the primary guy out there. But we went to Derek later a couple of times. He really makes some good things just because we felt that. Uh, uh, it would better be a better option for us, uh, but he is really doing a good job of seeing people, and it really helps when you got shooters like 
the Intel's assist numbers up, you got to have shooters like Derek. Look at the numbers on Derek Walton and Duncan Robinson from three. I mean, so he makes penetration. They got to help a little bit. He's really good at finding them. And then the pick and roll, you know, all Mark's finishes, all Ricky's finishes came from him. Or not all of them, but most of them. Left. It's really volatile. Coach, we talked so much about Aubrey's athleticism, but after that missed look on the dunk, what, what's the message for him in terms of flashiness versus just converting? Yeah, I mean, that would have been, that would have been nice to get that, um, but he just has to, uh, he has to understand you've got you to be good before you're great. You know, and that's what, with everybody. You know, there, there's, you can't skip step, steps. And so he's, he, I think he understands that. I mean, that could have been a pivotal point in the game as well. And he knows that. We, we had the same thing with Glenn Robinson. Had a lot of my bads when he tried to dunk it with one. And Mitch McGarry, go up and dunk it with two. It will still make the highlight reel. Just go up and get it with two hands.